If you are looking for a free PDF note-taking app for lecture notes, scribbles, or digital planning and journaling, you might want to try the app Notes Writer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how the app works and how you can use it. So let's start. Let's open the app and begin from the locations. Here you can see the different folders and some of them already have contents which came with the app. And with the free version, we are only limited with the number of notebooks that we can have so we will be deleting them later on. But first, let me show you the settings on the upper right corner here. The first one is the plus icon where you can add new empty note files using the four options here. If you are not sure on which one you should use, let me describe them to you. The first one is the PDF note. This is ideal for when you want to type down some text, write down notes, and draw shapes and other elements. The scribble note on the other hand is ideal for a quick note or if you want to use the markup toolbar native to the iPad, which is this one. You can use any of these pen tools here and you can also use the color selection here or this which is in the app. The next type of note is the text note. In here, you can use the keyboard and you can still use your Apple Pencil, but it will automatically use the scribble function and convert your handwriting to text. This note is ideal when writing essays or documents where you want to know the statistics like number of words, lines, and all that. Lastly is the Markdown note. So Markdown is a markup language where you can format a text using syntax or symbols. I am really not an expert on this one, but if you want to learn about this, I will link the website of the inventor of the language below. You will see there how to use the language, but let me show you some simple examples. The next option on the plus icon is the choose a template and there are actually a lot of templates you can choose from. Once you have chosen a template, the app will automatically open a PDF note. You can also create a new folder which for some reason will look similar to notebooks. So to differentiate them, you can use other covers which I will show you how to change later on. If you have files from the following, you can use these options and you can also scan a document using the camera of the iPad. Let me show you the other options first before we import some files. So this tab here shows you how many note files are currently opened and if we click on it, you will be brought here. So let's go back. This icon here, which I thought was view setting icon is actually used to import files. The next icon is the gear icon, which you can see the app info and here you can also change some settings. So here in the settings, you can change the theme to any of the eight options. And you can also turn on or off the automatic backups, auto lock screen, Wi-Fi file transfer, sync projects to Dropbox, and set whether you want to always open a PDF file in reader mode or not. You can also change the text to speech speed here. And if you want to use a username for PDF annotations, you can also set it here. Lastly, on the options is the selection option. You can select a note file or select multiple files move to another folder or create a new one containing the selected note files. You can also duplicate or delete. The wrench icon is also available if there is only one file selected and depending on what type of file it is, the options here will change. Like for this one, since it is a folder, I can rename, change the cover, enable password, or email it to someone. And if it is only a PDF file, you can only rename it. You can also rename a file by tapping on the file name. You can also do those options and more if you long press on the particular file. This sample folder here contains a lot of note files and we need the extra space so let's delete this folder. Once you deleted those files, make sure to go back to the locations 
and go to trash. Select all the files and make sure to permanently delete them to save up some space. Now I'm going to import the freebie planner. You can get the freebie planner by joining our Facebook group if you like. The link is in the screen right now and down on the description box below. Before anything else, I want to show you that the links in the planner works in this app, which is fun. And you can also use these arrows here and also the scroll to navigate through the pages. With that, let's continue with the markup tools in the app. The first one is the text tool. If you want to use your keyboard to type in, you can use this option. This one is for drawing shapes. If you tap on the icon, you will have these different options here and you can use the magic wand if you want the app to automatically convert your drawing to the closest shape. Or you can choose from the different shapes available here. These are the pencil tool the pen tool, and the highlighter tool. Tap to select, then tap again to see the settings. The three of them have the same setting where you can change the color, the background color, the blend mode. You can also change the opacity and the thickness here. You can also make six presets here. Just tap, then change it to the color and settings that you like. Then the eraser tool where we have 12 sizes to choose from. The next one is the finger icon which disables your Apple Pencil from writing and with that you can use to scroll through the pages of the notebook. Next is the lasso tool. With this tool, you can copy the selected area, clip, which duplicates the selection, excerpt, which converts the selection into a text, and then the highlight. Then you have these preset colors that are easy to access and you can also change the colors to whichever you like. Next is the plus icon where you can find a lot of additional tools. There are a few that I want to emphasize which are the take a photo which you can add photos by using the camera or pictures from your photo library or from the files. You can also add a sketch if you want. And lastly is you can add a voice recorded note. For the other tools in here, you can explore them further if you like. The next icon here is the More icon and the first option here is Define. You can use this to search your document but it doesn't recognize handwriting right now. The next one is the Go to Page option which lets you specify the page number you want to go to. Then the Reader mode. The additional tools here are the bookmark, the search, this book icon here where you can see the list of your annotations, your bookmark pages, details about the note file, and your permissions. In here, you can add a password to the current note file. Just tap edit and add the password and change the permission settings. Lastly is the gear icon where you can set your viewing preferences. You can also undo and redo here or exit this note file with this left arrow. But if you don't want to exit and want to go back to the editing mode, tap this icon here. You can also split the view or use the presentation mode. And if you want to add a template on top of the note file, you can use this. And since the size of the freebie planner is small, the paper template doesn't fit with the planner. You can also share and print the current note file if you like. You can also see the list of bookmarks, change the flipping direction, your viewing preferences, or add a password.
Now let's go to the left side of the toolbar. The first one here is to exit the note file. Here the cover page is the first page of the file and it compresses the image so this one looks wrong. <laughs> Then the note file overview where you can see all the pages, a thumbnail, your bookmark pages, and the annotated ones. You can also use the search and the book icon which I also showed you a while ago. Then the gear icon where you can see the file info and also edit the permission and change the brightness. This is the share icon and the edit icon. In the edit icon, you can add pages, select pages to duplicate, rotate, delete, move, copy, and paste to the last page. You can use this check mark icon here to select all the pages and then the undo and the redo. Tap done when you are satisfied. You can save the changes to the current file, save the changes and create another file or just discard the changes. And let's go back. Lastly are the undo and the redo option. This app, if I have to be honest, is quite overwhelming, but I hope this video helped you get started on how to use the Notes Writer app. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I publish a new video. This is Kazel, and until next time, bye!